guys, this is ChewySide55 and instead of an iRacing video today, we have a tutorial on how to use DS3 Tool by Motion Enjoy. It's a free program that lets you use a PlayStation 3 controller on your PC. You can even set it to use it as an Xbox 360 controller by having the Xbox 360 controller emulator enabled. Which is actually a really pretty useful feature, if you ask me. Anyways, here's the program itself, and here's the problem everyone seems to be facing. Seems like the Motion Enjoy server's down. It seems to be run off of a... It's internet-based program, but... Let's show you how to get around that. You see this local button here? If you click it now, it, it'll just bring you nothing or do absolutely nothing. So let me close that. You're going to need files, something like this. This version 2, which is the 0.6004 or something like that. Something like this one right here. <laughs> and you also need to go find this file, which I will put in the link in the description. And I'll also show you where to go download if you, the link doesn't work. But you need this file, even though it's a version above it, it'll still work just fine. Because I've been using it for the past three months. So open up your internet. Go to... Or just type in motion. Enjoy. Offline. This one. <laughs> 6.005 with export button so this works pretty well and you can ignore all that nonsense real real simple I'm not explain how to do that anyways you're gonna click this download file here download it and you'll end up with uh, you'll end up with this file here let me look for it this one <laughs> end up with this it comes in a RAR zip file so you have to get WinZip if I'm using WinRAR use whatever unzipping program you wish but you see this local folder. You're gonna go want to find. You're gonna want to go find your uh, Motion Enjoy. If you're a 64-bit PC user, go to your program files. Just the program files. No yet. Not no dot yet. Ah, what the hell am I saying? Just program files. It's a 64-bit folder. So go to Motion Enjoy, and you'll see DS3. Go in there. This local folder. This won't be there. Because I already did all this. <laughs> so you'll take this local folder and drag it. And it'll copy into there. So close out. Open up your DS3 tool. Again, it opens up to this white page. So now you click the local button. And you'll end up with this. And to install the drivers, you just go here. You check whatever. Click load driver, let it install. I don't know if it requires you to still restart your PC, but whatever. You can mess with other options. These are my settings. Profiles, this is what you'll mainly be using. Make sure it says DualShock 3, 6 axis on the controller connected. It means you got a good connection and battery. There's a way to get Bluetooth, I just forgot how, so, yeah. You can use your own custom made profile, you know, create, it goes through all these buttons. Each thing's programmable in a way. Or you could set it to a PlayStation 2 like controller, or even Xbox 360 where it picks up just like an Xbox 360 controllers. Besides the differences in shape. So you just click enable when you have your thing and there you go. And I make sure you can go ahead and just check. You can click Game Controllers here. Uh, click the Motion Enjoy Virtual Game Controller. Click Advanced. Not Advanced. Properties. Hmm. And you can see... I only have left and right because I don't have my forward axis. Yeah, forward and back axis. I don't have it enabled on left analog so you can see. The buttons being lit here, I have the up and down set to buttons, but there you go. Triggers, I have one set to Y rotation, and the other one should be slider or dial. Right analog stick. 
Also buttons. Because <laughs> I don't have a need for this. You know, all that. But there you go. There it is. Let's hope that helped and fix that white screen issue. But every time you open it up, you gotta click local or else you'll get the white screen. But no biggie. As long as it works. Anyways, this is... I should post more tutorials soon. Soon how to use this recording program I'm using, which is open broadcasting software. I'll have a tutorial on that here soon. This has been Chewyside55. <laughs>